Dan, you were in uh, Vietnam for the CIA. When did you leave the CIA? March 1977, I left to, to testify to the Senate and go public and try to write a book, which I did. Let's talk about the function of the CIA. I, I think a lot of us have an impression that all the CIA does is uh, gather intelligence. Well, one of the four principal functions of the CIA is to gather intelligence. There are other functions, however. One is to run secret wars. Another thing is to disseminate propaganda to influence people's minds. Unfortunately, of course, it overlaps into the gathering of information. You, you have contact with a journalist, you will give him true stories, you will get information from him, you'll also give him false stories. And every fifth story is simply being false. false. confidence and set him up. Uh, you also work on their human vulnerabilities to recruit them in a classic sense, make them your agent so that you can control what they do so you don't have to set them up sort of, you know, by, by putting one over on them so you can say, here, plant this one next Tuesday. Can you do this with responsible reporters? Yes, the church committee brought it out in 1975. 400 journalists cooperating with the CIA, uh, including some of the biggest names in the business. Well, give me a concrete example of how you use the press this way, how a false story is planted and how you got it published. Well, for example, in my, my war, the Angola war that I helped to manage, uh, one third of my staff was propaganda, and we pumped just dozens of stories about Cuban atrocities, Cuban rapists. We ran photographs that made almost every newspaper in the country. These were fake photos? Oh, absolutely. We didn't know of one single atrocity committed by the Cubans. It was pure, raw, false propaganda to, to create a, an illusion of communists, you know, eating babies for breakfast and that sort of totally false propaganda. John, was this uh, sort of thing practiced in uh, Vietnam? Oh, endlessly a massive propaganda effort in Vietnam in the 50s and in the 60s. So you planted a story in the Washington Post by bringing a man from abroad. You had no difficulty getting right past the editor with it? Yeah. Is this common? Is it easy? It's easier than, than you would think, yes. I thought going into the CI that I was doing the best thing I possibly could uh, with my life and the noblest uh, ideals of our society, thinking I was bettering mankind by making the world free for democracy. It just took me 13 years and three secret wars to realize how absolutely false that was. It just took me that long to see uh, the thing from a totally different light. Underworld. 